When you see on my left hand side is Intel threading building block. When you see on my right hand side is Microsoft Parallel Pattern Library. Intel threading building block was released in year 27. Now Intel thread building block is over 12 years old. In case of Microsoft's Parallel Pattern Library is now 8 years old. Both Intel's threading building block and Microsoft's Parallel Pattern Library are mature technology. In this episode, I will explain how to take advantage of Intel's threading building block or Microsoft's Parallel Pattern Library in our programming. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is June 20th, 2019. This is my 36th episode about the future of C++ programming, C++ 2A standard. In this session, I will explain some background history about parallel algorithm, threading, building block, and parallel pattern library. Intel released threading building block in year 27, and Microsoft released parallel pattern library in year 2011. Microsoft's parallel Pattern library is largely based on Intel's threading building block. And C17 standard introduced parallel algorithm, but as of today, June 20th, 2019, many important features for parallel algorithm are still missing or not implemented. In C++ 17 standard parallel algorithm, Intel's threading building block is the leading technology for parallel programming. And GNU G++ parallel algorithm is implemented based on Intel's threading building block. In this episode, we will learn how to take advantage of Intel's threading building blocks using GNU, G++, and Clang++ on Windows platform. Please visit extension talkplayfun.com website and click this link to download complete source code. In this episode, we are going to use Intel's threading building block, so you should have installed latest version of Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. By watching this video, please install or upgrade to latest version of Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. Also, you have to install latest version of GNU G++ Clang on Windows platform. By watching this video, GNU G++ Clang over MC2 MinGW on Windows, please upgrade your existing installation of GNU G++ on Windows. Or if you failed to upgrade GNU G++ on Windows, please watch this video how to remove and reinstall GNU G++ over MC2. In this episode, I explained how to install Intel's threading building block on Windows 2. So you should have watched this video if you want to follow this episode. After installing these tools, you have to make system environment variable settings. If you haven't made system environment variable settings for our development, you may not be able to follow this episode. So please watch this video to make proper system environment variables for Visual C++, GNU G++, and Clang++. Also, I use Intel C++ compiler from time to time. I will put a video link in this page. If you haven't watched my previous video about how to install Intel C++ compiler or Parallel Studio XE on Windows, please watch this video and install Intel Parallel Studio XE. Please don't forget that after installing all these tools, 
You should make proper system environment variables for our development. Otherwise, you cannot follow this and future episode. When download is complete, show in folder, unzip it. In cpp extension folder, you can find the tutorial folder. You need to copy complete cpp extension folder copy and paste it to your working directory. Then start Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, if you open CPP extension folder, you can find tutorial subfolder. Click new file button 036 parallel for CPP. Please note that Microsoft's parallel pattern library and Intel's threading building block are not standard C++. However, C++ standards parallel algorithms are based on Intel's threading building block. So even though Intel's threading building block is not standard C++, most algorithms in C++ standards are and will be implemented based on Intel's threading building block. Also, I would like to remind you to watch Parallel Algorithm and Synchronization this video and Parallel Algorithm and Exception Safety, Parallel Algorithm and Execution Policy. By clicking these links, you can watch my previous video about Parallel Algorithm. I will put this script in the description section below this video. Ctrl B Include IO stream include mutex include thread include execution for C standard parallel algorithm. If defined, this is for Microsoft compiler MS. BC lang or defined underscore ICL. This is for Intel compiler. Else for GNU G plus plus Clang plus plus and Intel compilers. I will remove this part. And if we introduced preprocessor directive, include ppl.h for Microsoft's parallel pattern library, include tbb, tbb.h. For Intel's threading building blocks. In case of Microsoft namespace CCY concurrency. In case of GNU Clang Intel compilers namespace CCY TBB CCY is short for namespace concurrency. CCY is short name for threading building blocks. Sadly, C++ standard algorithm does not yet support parallel for. Okay, as of today, C++ 17 standard does not support Parallel 4. I believe Parallel 4 will be introduced to standard C++ very soon. Working draft technical specification for C++ extension for Parallelism version 2. This document, Control F, Parallel 4. So in name parallel for loop, 
parallel for loop will be introduced to C++ in some future version of C++, probably C++ 20 standard. You can refer to more C++ documentations for parallel algorithm, for example by clicking this link, template library for parallel for, and also vector and wavefront policies, this document, you can read more about future C++. Also in C++ standard parallel algorithm, one very important feature is still missing, that is cancellation. In case of Intel threading building block and also Microsoft parallel pattern library, both support exception and cancellation. In case of thread building block, in this web page, exception and cancellation, cancellation without an exception is supported for parallel for in case of Intel thread building block. This cancellation feature is very important for parallel algorithms. Also, in case of Microsoft parallel pattern library, in this document, cancellation in parallel pattern library is explained. How to use cancellation to break from a parallel loop. We sometimes need to cancel from parallel loop or use exception handling to break from parallel loop. These are very important features for parallel algorithm. But in current version of C++ standard, there is no cancellation features from parallel algorithm. So, if we use Intel's thread building block or Microsoft's parallel pattern library, we can cancel from our parallel loop or parallel algorithms. But this important feature is missing in C++ standard's parallel algorithm. But don't worry, in future version of C++, click this link, in this document, handling concurrent exceptions with executor, exception handling mechanism in concurrent parallel algorithm will be implemented very soon. Before exception handling for parallel algorithm, we can use Intel threading building block or Microsoft's parallel pattern library. Disclaimer. I haven't read all these documents thoroughly yet, I just skimmed through and I could be wrong. So I will read more documents, then I will update about this C++ standard. Please understand that C++ changes very fast. Now let's get back to our code. In our code, void test parallel for I created a function, int main, I copied the function and paste it here, std, view text, view text. I will define using lock type, std, lock guard, std, view text. I will create callback auto callback we will capture mutex auto index don't forget semicolon here lock type lock mutex std cout thread id std this thread get id t index index std and there we created a simple callback lambda closer ccy parallel for 1 11 callback please note that CCY, we defined here concurrency in case of Microsoft. Otherwise, it is TBB, thread building block. 
Now start your command prompt. You should be in CPP extension tutorial folder. DIR 036 star then you should find 036 parallel port.cpp. We are trying with Microsoft compiler first CL EHSC SDD C++ 17 036 parallel for cpp fe m dot exe please note that you should not provide blank space here if you want to provide a blank space here then you should use colon okay if i provide a blank space after a p switch hit enter we have a warning message a recognized source file type okay so in this case we have to remove blank space now mexe is created cls m now it works perfectly this is a thread id index is unsequential okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten because we run from one to eleven eleven is not included now let's try with the gnu compiler g plus plus std c plus plus seventeen 036 parallel dot cpp don't forget ltbb okay don't forget this option o g e x e hit enter so we have error message namespace does not name a type tbb so we should find the tbb now start your file explorer click c drive find debsoft you probably have installed mcs2 in this folder okay in this folder select minji w64 here tbb.h hit enter then you should find the tbb folder mcs2 this is tbb.h mcs2 include tbb select right click open file location then tbb is in this folder now click this button and copy the folder path copy right click your start button search environment then edit the system environment click environment variable click cpp include path click edit here paste the folder path like this don't forget semicolon here don't forget semicolon in between then click ok to double check edit once again then you should see the directory path for tbb should be listed here click ok click ok click ok now i close file explorer and we have to close it and start command prompt once again you have to restart your command prompt. DIR 036 star G++ SDD C++ 17 036 parallel for CPP LTBB. Don't forget this link switch. O 
C E X E hit enter. What's the problem? Let's see. E H echo C plus include pass percent hit enter. Why it's not working? Okay, I made a typo here. I have to fix it like this. Now hit once again. Okay, it built successfully. CLS G. Now it's working fine. We will try with clang. C L A N. Hit enter. Clang also works. I will also try with Intel. This is Intel compiler. If you install the Intel compiler, then ICL EHSC SDD C17 036 Parallel for dot CPP FE I E X E. Please note that you should not give space here. After F E switch, you should not give blank space. Hit enter. Then I E X E will be created. Okay, I E X E is created. I. Intel compiler works perfectly. So Microsoft compiler. Intel compiler, GNU G++, Clang. All four compilers work successfully. Please note that this parallel four algorithm is not included in C++ standard as of today. As I said before, I haven't read this documentation thoroughly yet. In future, after reading this documentation, I will update to you about current status of C++. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.